Ding Xin's troubles have caused consumers to question the safety of Taiwanese food products. Today, a legislature asked for an investigation of Uni President to ensure that none of the ingredients used in its oils meant for animal feed are ever mixed into oils meant for human consumption. At a legislative question and answer session today, legislator Lin Chu Fan noted that Uni President had purchased industrial waste oil from an upstream supplier, Sheqing Enterprise. Lin believes an investigation is needed to ensure that none of this substandard oil was used to produce products for human consumption. The Food and Drug Administration told us that Uni President had purchased oil from Xieqing and produced food products and animal feed. These two lines are separate, but I want to ask you if you can prove that both lines are completely separate. Additionally, legislator Su Zhenqing alleges that Unit President used a non-edible oil tax number in 2009 and 2010 to import Italian organic cold-pressed sunflower oil, then sold it as edible oil. Su asked Economics Minister Woody Da to investigate. Tariffs for the import of edible oil stand at 20%. Though tariffs on non-edible oil are just 6%, Unit President could have exploited this tax gap. Because it was blended oil, the customs broker might have made a mistake and used the wrong tariff code. After relevant agencies discovered the oversight, in March 2011, we paid an additional 6,000 NT dollars plus in taxes. With consumers anxious about the safety of edible oil, the onus falls on companies to prove their products are safe.